Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today let's discuss about the expense module in Odoo 16. Expense management is very important for any organization to get the exact picture of the money they have spent for different tasks for the company. Managing employees daily expense is a difficult task but Odoo simplifies these actions through the expense module. This module will help your company to effectively manage all the expenses thereby reducing the losses. Having a dedicated system to manage your expense will save your productive time and effort. You don't even need to download separate software to manage all the company expense because Odoo encompasses all the expense management activities in a single platform, that is the expense module. Now let's take a look at the expense module and see how it works. For that let's open the expense module, it's right here. Now once you open you can see the dashboard, Now inside the dashboard you can see all the expenses that is your expenses which is currently filtered, you can see my expenses here. Now here you can see the expense date, description, employee, paid by, activities, analytic, company, total and status and on the top you can see the expense to report, the expense which is under valuation and the expense to be reimbursed. Okay. So inside this dashboard, we have the option to filter group by and favorites. We have these much options to filter like my expense. You can filter based on my expense, my team to report to report. There's nothing but the expenses which are in the state to report. And we have the refused ones. You can filter based on expense date. You can just specify a date and that result corresponding to that will be shown and you can filter it based on the former employees and also add custom filters next we have the group by where you can group by employee category status expense date company and also add a custom group inside the favorites we have save current search where you can use that search by default and also you have the option to import records link menu in spreadsheet and insert view in article insert link in article so you can insert this particular view in an article created inside the knowledge module or else you can insert a link which leads to this view inside the knowledge modules article. Now you have the option to insert link in spreadsheet, insert list in spreadsheet and also add this to your dashboard. And not only that, if you go to the top right corner, you have different views like list view, canvan view, graph view, pivot view and also you have the activities. So currently we are viewing the list view. This is the canvan view. Okay, this is the canvan view of the expenses. This is the graph view where you have the bar chart, line chart and pie chart. Okay, there also you have the option to filter group by and favorites and also you have measures. You will get the result based on the measures you are giving. Okay, next we have the pivot view which is nothing but a tabular representation. You can flip the axis, expand all and also download an Excel axis. Next, here also we have measures. Okay, then we have the group by filter and favorites options here. Let's go back to my expenses and inside the my expense you can see a create button, a scan button, create report and also export button. Now if you go to the Kanban view there you can see two buttons which is create and upload. So if you want to upload any expense you can just click on upload, upload it from your files and if you want to create click on create and there comes a creation form and here you can create the expense. So I'm giving lunch with client so this will come under the category meals right so we'll choose meals now you can give the specify the total amount so I'm giving as 100 and here you have the employee who is the employee who went for the lunch with client and who paid it the company or employee so you can choose the employee to reimburse that money will given will be given back to the employee itself right now here we have the bill reference if you have any reference of the bill uh, which you got while leaving the restaurant after having the lunch and all you can put the reference there 
you have the expense data you have the account you can, you have to specify an account so here an expense account is given and also you have to choose the customer to whom this should be reinvoiced so i'm choosing is your interior you have the space where you have to choose the analytics where you have projects and departments so you have to search for an analytic account here so i'm choosing the credit and the department field service anything can be given here simply uh, like tags and all now here you have company okay where you have to choose the company now that the expense is done if you want you can attach receipt to this expense okay to, so i'm just saving it so this is currently in the state to submit now if you want you can just attach receipt and i'm going to create report create report for this okay so expense of the okay whatever now we have the option to choose manager here before creating the report you have to submit it to the manager so we have submitted it the manager can approve it okay so we can either approve it or refuse it i'm approving it okay so you can then post journal entries and also report it in next pay slip so if you just click on report in next pay slip here you can see your expense will be added to your next pay slip and here you have yeah report in pay slip itself now what we have to do is if you want you can refuse it okay just go back that's how you view like create a report and if you want to view the report you can just click on view report and here's the report okay so this is how we create an expense through the kanban view it can also be done in the list view just go to the list there you have create here just give as creating a new one okay give the category here i'm giving meals enter the amount here and you have the option to choose the employee the paid by same thing which we saw inside the kanban also okay so you have to choose the customer to whom you have to reinvoice i'm choosing joil wills and you have the analytics where you can choose the analytic okay and then you have the option to choose the company so after this you can simply attach this receipt if you want you can split the expense click on split so likewise you can split the expense so yeah you can see this expense is splitted 7575 okay now go back expense has been split so this is one among the splitted ones okay so after that you will create report submit to manager approve then let's post journal entries so once it's post you can see the state have changed to posted now you can register payment for this create payment so here you can see the ribbon has come which is in payment and also if you want to report it in next pay slip click on report in next pay slip so here you can see your pay slip will be added i mean your expense will be added to your next pay slip so that's how you create a report okay for your expense and next we have your reports that is these are the expenses and if you want to view your reports you can just click on my reports you can directly create a report from here just click on create okay so here we have given trip to new york employee manager if you want you can choose manager also now here you can add a line so here you can add the expenses okay select 
so what you do is you will create expense and you will create report right inside this report you will add expenses and only then you can proceed so then you will submit it to manager then he will approve it or refuse it approve it then post journal entries register payment create payment okay and also report it in next piece list. so this is how you directly create reports you can create report by creating an expense okay next we have the expense reports so here you can see all the expense reports you can uh, filter it based on status statuses which is like draft submitted approved posted done refused not and if you want to see uh, reports of only uh, certain employees you can choose from here and view it okay you have also the company so if you want to view only my companies that will be shown okay so results or reports based on these corresponding filters will be viewed here okay next we have now from here also you can create a report just click on create you have the very same report creation option you can create it from here next we have the reporting section where we have the expense analysis so inside the expense analysis you can see a graphical view of the expense analysis on different months okay these are the dates and you have the line chart pie chart okay you have also pivot view and list view next under configuration we have the expense categories so it is from here where we are choosing right we can create categories here and once you create an expense report or expense there you can choose categories which have been created here so just click on create i'll give lunch the cost can be given here you want tough measure and if you have any internal reference that can be given here the accounting details like expense account vendor taxes and customer taxes customer taxes already come that can be given here now inside the company you can choose the company here you have the option that is the invoicing options where you have the reinvoice expenses at cost at sales price or no okay then here you can give the internal notes okay so this is how you create a expense category so next we have the configuration settings where we have the incoming emails reimbursing pay slip expense digitalization employee expense journal and company expense journal so expenses here you can set the incoming mails that is if uh, you can create expense from the incoming mails and here you have the option to reimburse in pay slip so only when you uh, enable it you can reimburse expenses in pay slip next you have the expense digitalization ocr which is nothing but to digitalize your receipts so you have three options do not digitalize digitalize on demand only and digitalize automatically okay now on the default journals you can set default journals here for the company journal and also the employee expense journal okay so that's all about the expense module thank you for watching